Hey everyone, and welcome to our stream. Happy Friday. It is Friday, the beginning of the weekend here. <laughs> Creature saw me reset that timer. Well, I had to get my camera working. For some reason, it wasn't um, showing up in OBS. So I had to go in and just change that. And by changing it, I reset the timer. So I wanted to bring it down not wait a full 10 minutes but um welcome creature we're actually playing the game that creature 92 um suggested and used his channel points for we're playing sticks master of shadows originally we were going to play sticks shard of darkness which is the second game of the series but um i was able to find this game in a bundle for $1.99 on fanatical.com which is like such a great deal i couldn't pass it up i'm like let me just buy it and i'll play this one instead we'll start with the first game and we can go to the second game third one's of orcs and men i'm not too like caught up on the lore here with sticks and i never really heard of the third game but yeah i'm excited for this too i've never i've always owned shards of darkness i've always wanted to play it i see it everywhere i looked up the only thing i know about this i did look up a review about the game um just to kind of see what it was all about. I don't know. Like I said, this is a blind playthrough, so I'm... I don't know what to expect other than it's stealth, and there's going to be lots of stealth and missions for us to run. It looks good. It plays well from what I hear. We're playing the PC version, so... It'll be fun. Can't really complain. Looking forward to this. Something different. Finished Fable... Lost Chapters, we're playing Fable Anniversary. Finished that on Monday. So we're starting new with a new game here today on Friday. This is going to be cool. All right, let's get the show on the road here. Start up the game. Graphics look really nice. This game is from 2014. Playing the Steam version. From Cyanide Studios. We play as a goblin. Usually I'm killing goblins. Today we're playing as one. Well. My guess is it used Unreal Engine 3, because it came out in 2014. Could be using Unreal Engine 4, I'm not sure. Yeah, I've not played of Orcs and Men. I didn't even know of Orcs and Men existed until now. Um, I need to look into that. wonder if it's like a console exclusive. Alright, let's look at our options here. I'm pretty sure this game has a tutorial that's going to show me how to use the controller. We're going to play not keyboard and mouse, but controller. I think it'll be easier with the controller. Change item, mode A. The roll. Yeah, roll with RB is good because that's the same. It says PC. I'll look it up. The roll key being RB is great. Because that's the same key we used to roll in Fable Anniversary, so I won't get that wrong. Uh, kill and parry is X. Drop, crouch is B. Interact is Y. Jump is A. Alright. Sticks is the little spry guy here, isn't he? Start with a new game. Let's play it on normal. I mean, we'll see how that goes. I don't necessarily need to play it on hard. This is the first playthrough. The atrium of Akinash. A world shut inside another. This is what humans do when they don't understand a thing. They build walls around it. They put locks on the doors, and they put soldiers in front of those doors. The bigger the secret, the bigger the lock. And the craziest are those who want to pick it. May my ancestors forgive me. I'm one of those to my misfortune. Ah, this noise. These voices. I can't stand it. Amber. That damn golden mud oozing from the heart of the world tree. A magma of sticky dreams. All the thoughts of those who wanted to taste the forbidden sap. Humans. Elves. 
All their private little chatter is mixed up in this disgusting soup. A flood of ideas constantly flowing into my head for all these years. It took so long for me to find this place. With each step, I heard my voice a little less, and all the others a little more. I'm so tired. It's time to finish it. While well, I can still recognize my own thoughts. The heart of the tree. It's why I'm here. That, at least, I'm sure is my own desire. Take possession of this source of infinite power, but also misfortune. It's time to move to the first phase of the plan. Drop your weapon. And it starts now. I'm going to thrust this right into the game. How's it going, Camilio? Yeah, I've had Shards of Darkness for a long time oh, and I never beast. played it. Wake up! Answer when Lord Barnumin speaks to you. Who are you? Speak! My name is Styx. There's a surprise. The elves give names to their monsters. Where do you come from? I've never seen anything that looks like you. I am one of a kind. It's the elves who created it, Father, that's obvious. They pulled this runt out of their sticky larvae, and they sent it here to spy on us. Speak. Is it the elves who sent you? Why are you here? <laughs> elves. If you only knew. They don't need spies to find out what's going on in this accursed tower. So, you're working for them. What did you come here for? I came for the heart of the tree, of course. I knew it. Those degenerates want to retake the tree and keep their precious amber for themselves. Father, we must bring them to heal while we still have time. Enough, Aaron. I secured this alliance with the elves and I intend to respect it. For the moment, we need the elves. You know it very well. Rubbish. Oh yes, you do need the elves. How many of you poor little humans died the last time you tried to extract amber by yourselves, huh? How many? Hundreds? Oh yes, you do need the elves. But they don't need you. How long do you think you can lock them up in their own world? The amber is theirs. The tree is theirs. The heart of the tree is theirs and i intend to get my hands on it and take it away from here they're dying to get their tree back eh? but they won't do a thing we have an agreement an agreement we don't sign agreements with people who have amber in their veins <laughs> you're out of your depth mr governor oh ho, 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 you've got some nerve <laughs> i'm sure you've never even seen the heart of the tree oh but i have seen it Since I've been holed up in the bowels of the atrium, I can see it night and day, even in my dreams. And every day I say to myself, Hey, Rakash, the heart of the tree is over there, almost within reach. And by your life, you're gonna find some way to steal it, because you're not leaving the tower without it. All right, here we go. Yeah, this is the first game. Yeah. Oh, this headache. What? I, where was I? Shit, my brain is an anvil. Yeah, yeah, the heart of the tree. What did I do with my dagger? I feel naked without my dagger. I gotta find it quick. We'll find it, Six. Yeah, this is, um, originally I only had the first game, Shards of Darkness. But then Fanatical.com had a sale for Steam Keys. Um, they had this in a bundle with some other games, including Overlord, which looks interesting. All the Overlord games. And so I picked up Master of Shadows basically for $1.99. Um, Creature actually wanted me to see, wanted me to play the first game and watch me play it. So now I have it. And for $1.99, you can't go bad. We're going to play the first game. If we do like it, eventually we'll play uh, the second one, Charge of Darkness. So, technically, it goes Masters of Sh Shadow, right? Master of Shadows. Then you have Shard of Darkness, and then of Orcs and Men. Um, which... 
I didn't know about Orcs and Men until the other day when uh, I got raided and Braxton's chat, people from Braxton's channel were telling me about it. So I don't know much about the series. It's stealth. It looks pretty good. I watched a nice review on it last night by ACG Gaming. Um, we're going to play this with a gamepad. I think it's going to be easier with a gamepad. And let's see how it goes. It's not Hitman. I don't expect it to be. But it does look fun. So let's go find his dagger. Have a look around here. Got a jump. Sneak. Crouch. B. And roll. And the same commands as in Fable there. Got a good control of the camera, which is nice. Y is his action button. L2, I don't know yet. I'm assuming there's a tutorial to this, so. And then you can, like, whistle and do different things to distract um, who you're stalking, ultimately. So B is crouched. RB is roll. Crouched. To pass under obstacles this that stand in your way, you can crouch or roll in order to squeeze through type spaces. Okay. There we go. What's nice is you only have to press it once. You don't have to hold down the button the entire time. It's a little dark. Let me, uh... Let me see if I can brighten it a little. Too bright there. Maybe there. Oh, that looks better. So jump is A. You are very agile. You can jump and hang onto anchor plates or ledges using the jump button. Hold down the jump button to remain hanging from the ledge without climbing up. It is also possible to grab a ledge below sticks if you approach it slowly, crouch or standing. This is what I heard was one of the um, kind of complaints about the game, but not like a major complaint is that you use the same button to jump and the same button to grab. So, let's try it. All right, guess we didn't have to grab that time. Should be able to climb up there. There we go. Yeah, it's not that bad. I said there's several places where you might get caught in that, but let's try it and see how it works out. We need to climb up. This is basically the tutorial level, so we're going to learn here. Which it's slowly crouched or standing. It's not. I got to climb up there. There we go. That's why it wasn't working. Graphics look pretty good. 2014 game. Where's my dagger? It says the dagger's out there now. Yeah, these controls are pretty tight. I don't know what that guy was talking about. We gotta go all the way up there and around. Okay. I see. So we do need to go through here. Yeah, jumps are pretty accurate. Did you see the dagger that Duncan found? I wonder where it comes from. It's not from here. Yeah, well, don't get excited. We'll play for it with dice tonight. In the meantime, keep your hands off. Okay, okay. I'll wait till tonight. I was just looking on stream. Is it still too dark? Because I could lighten it. Let me know. Ray brightened it a tiny bit. About my dagger. It can be far away. Talking about his dagger. Hey, psychology. My man's. I like it. How's it going? Happy Friday. You like it so far? It's pretty cool. It's got RPG elements. It's, you know... 
the darkness is fine. Awesome. Thanks, Camellia. Pick that I should up. drink this flask. It would perk me up a little. Perk you up a little. So LB to use item. There we go. Climbing, I guess. We're climbing from where? I said more climbing, but it. Here? There we go. Oh, these controls are pretty smooth. only downside to this, uh, in my opinion, was that you get combat, you're locked in from what I remember, so I avoided it at all costs. Yeah, I think they really want you to avoid combat here. Brother needs that perking. Yes, he does. We needed some more health. Be careful. Unable to defend yourself must avoid being detected until you find your dagger. They don't really want you to do combat in this game. It's strictly stealth. Combat's like a last option kind of thing. We gotta jump down, don't we? Without falling. I must stay out of sight until I find my dagger. See, we hurt ourselves by doing that. Save the game. It's a pretty lengthy game, too. It sucks that I dropped and got full damage, but. Move silently. To move covertly, crouching will soften your footsteps. This is the best way to surprise or avoid your enemies. However, be careful where you put your feet as enemies react to you knocking into objects. That makes sense. Hey, Hefe, how's it going? Is this based on the 70s rock band? Yes. Mr. Roboto's in this game, too. Save anywhere hype. Yep. That's why we're playing this on PC. Did you already play Siphon Filter? I've heard that's one of great and lengthy too. I have not played Siphon Filter. It's a game I always wanted to play on the PS1, but I never have. I actually looked for the Sticks soundtrack online and it just kept giving me the band Sticks. Well, I finally found it. <laughs> okay, if we were to step on the on the rocks or the vines, I think that would make sound. For this game, though, no. that's awesome. When you played it, you played it on PS4 or Xbox? Navigate the dark. You are the master of shadows. The more you stay in the dark, the less chance there is of being detected. Your tattoo will get lit up to indicate when you're less likely to be seen tattoo. I guess that's on them. You can also extinguish torches to create darkness in places that are lit, but enemies may notice. Let's try it. Are there any enemies here? Let's try to extinguish this torch. That's cool. Always keep to the shadows. And walk where it doesn't make too much noise. Avoid running and farting. Avoid running and farting. My favorite part in Siphon Filter is tasering a sniper that's like 1,000 feet up on Skyscraper. First one was X1, second was PS2, 4. Okay, got it. What can wish? Oh, you know it. Very, very quiet. Stay to the shadows. Trying to keep to the concrete here. See if I can get through without touching that light. Oh, they found me. Forget it. I think I was supposed to extinguish the light. I figured they would have... 
It would have seen me extinguishing the light. That's why I didn't do it. So it's shout out Friday. Halfway through the stream, we'll do some shout outs. I like doing shout outs. Fridays are a good day for shout outs. Yeah, so we can save as often as we want. And I, I could see why they did it. We gotta be very careful here. And I definitely want to extinguish that second torch. Always keep to the shadows. Walk where it doesn't make too much noise. Avoid running and farting. This voice actor sounds really familiar. I'm not sure who he is. And the voice actor from earlier that was in one of the cutscenes sounded like a voice actor I've heard in many animes. I'll have to look him up eventually. Gotta keep navigating the dark. There we go. Time to save, I think. I know this is somebody somewhat famous, so... Oh, we gotta interact with it. There's a tree. The world tree. It seems so close. But it's a mirage. It's so big that it seems to be close. But I still got a long way to go. So, from what I heard, the only access to the heart is a bridge which that two-faced Governor Baron has had closed off with a tamper-proof lock. And he keeps the only key in his apartments. And as if that wasn't bad enough, the whole area is crawling with elves. I'm gonna have to go down into the prisons and free my... friend. He knows how to deal with an elf. <laughs> so, if I'm gonna survive in this tower, I'm gonna need somewhere safe to get organized, as well as a map of the atrium. Well, I'll get nothing done standing around here. I'll get my dagger, and then it's off to work. Cool, so you get a map in this too, that's nice. And a bit of direction as well, so... Ah, gotta be sneaky here. If I stay under there, I won't be seen. <coughs> Gotta time this just right. Probably best to save right here, too. There has to be a, a keyboard key for saving. I gotta find out. daggers right up in there. So the voice actor for Styx also had roles in Detroit Become Human and Beyond Two Stoles. Interesting. I know I've heard him before. We get underneath this table without being caught. We did it. Ah, there's Detroit was great. I was afraid that I lost you, my beauty. Look at this. Everything we need is in this room. Hmm. There are maps of the zone stuck up here. Let's see. We got maps of the area. I'll need more than that to get what I want. Need a dagger. Hey, interact with doors. Use the interact button to open a door or hold down the button to pick the lock, which takes a little longer, but you can also press the action button to peek through the keyhole. That's cool. So does he put his dagger away? Or does he just hold it? 
Hold on. Let me see what... If there's like a... Quick save function. E or something. Visibility. Briefing. Lock. Space. No. You gotta go through the uh, main menu to do that. Oh, quick save is F5. Quick load is F9. But it's grayed out. I wonder if that's because it can't be reassigned. I there we go. Game saved. All right. I saw it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you just can't reassign it. Someone there. No. Understood. I'm sure I heard something. Shit. Where did it go? It's, it's gotta be around here somewhere. We're not here. Do not come in here. Alright, that was stupid of me alerting them. Let's see if they come in here. X to watch. You won't escape me. Okay, all I see is a tree. So there's no like unlocking mini game here. It's just you gotta kind of wait it out. Well, this is nice. You can look around the whole keyhole. All right. Yeah, as he like, and he's in that room staring straight at where we would be. So I'm just gonna hide behind the door for a second until he walks away, turns around. It's pretty neat. I like the controls. You gotta drop down, right? It's telling us to go that way. Where's the distillery? This way. I always like stuff that once something on the character changes, it indicates you're in shadow. Like this in Splinter Cell. Yeah. I mean, Hitman does it to a degree, but the problem with Hitman is it's so hard in certain situations. Nope. Yeah, this is what they were talking about. It's very hard to, like, kind of miss what you're trying to grab. We'll get used to it, though. I don't think it's that bad. Pretty tight. I'm sure it's going to get harder as it goes on. Instead of three guards, they'll give us, like, 15 guards we have to navigate. Assassin's rule number one. Always strike from behind, especially when the fucker is twice your size. And remember to land on the carpet to make less noise. Yeah, that's what I was just about to say. Use it to surprise your enemies. There's the carpet. All right. Hey! Huh? Nope. We didn't land on the carpet. But on a hitman indicates you're sh you're in shadow. I know there's a bar, but I mean on the character themselves. Well, not on the character themselves. It's it's the bar that indicates that um, you're close to shadow. But I like the approach they took here, where his tattoo um, kind of alerts you, and clearly they're going to be able to see the tattoo glowing on him. Splinter Cell has the lights on this suit that turn green when you're in shadows, and Six has the amber. Yeah, he has the tattoo. Yeah, on Hitman, it's not on his body. It's basically the uh, the bar. That worked. Let's kill him. Shh. 
Night. Can't leave this stiff lying around. That would be messy. Let's put him in the cupboard. This is exactly like Hitman in terms of hiding him. Nope, stop making noise. Can you read his book? You cannot read his book. Okay, that's fine. Dualwood enemy. Kill parry. Parry their attacks with the proper timing and kill them when they're off balance. Some health here too. We should probably drink it up. Let's wait for him. I wish you could get rid of this tutorial box. It's kind of blocking my view a little. Another way around? No. Nope. I'm good. I'm happy it's uh, Friday here. I'm looking forward to the weekend. It's going to be 50. I'm going to get to go out for a bit. I hate the cold, I hate the snow. I think we're done with snow. No choice. Yeah. Have to fight him. Come on, lads. Gotta find the best coins, whoever gets it. There we go. No. That's not bad. Fighting mechanism is pretty easy. Where do we put his body? in the corner. How are you doing, psycho Psychological Analogy. A cool name, if I could only pronounce it. Or rather, I'll just say Michael. How's it going? Who's behind this door? Some health. I don't hear anybody walking around. Get one more look. I'm good, man. About to play Shadow Warrior. It's totally fine whenever you want to call me, buddy. No problem. I know some of us like to not use our real names on on Twitch, so we usually go by our uh, our handle. Keeps a mystique. I don't care though. I've had people come in here and call me by my real name, which is all good. I do prefer being right. going by Nick's Let's though. Keep going. All right. When the guys are nearby, it's risky to put out a torch. Um, in such cases, you can pick up balls of sand and throw them onto the torches in order to extinguish them from a distance. Let's try this. Let's see how badly we mess this up. All right, let's give it a shot. So there's the sand. Change item. Hold on. Use item. I'll be. No, I didn't mean to use a health item. There we go. Pick up sand. Stock of balls of sand full. Change item. Oh, like that? That's easy. Pick up some more. I don't want your wang. Mess with the low and get the wang. What am I missing? I like my creatures and they're from Doom. <laughs> I'm 
We have to go in that room? I doubt it. Let's try to throw this ball of sand. Got it. Oh! He's coming this way. Let's see if we can walk past him and stick by the shadows. Yeah, we were able to do it. It's not that bad. But also hide in objects. That's cool. <laughs> A twist. I am from Doom. You're a Mr. Great and smart creature for one. I'll tell you that. Yeah, I've been watching Braxton Weiss play um, Blood of Light. Still my favorite build engine game. Quite nice. Watch somebody play it and struggle and suffer as much as you did <laughs> trying to get through that post-mortem level. Alright, there's two gentlemen here. One on the far side, one who's in the center watching forward, and then this guy. We need to get around this man. Go to the distillery. Our mission. Skills. Eventually we upgrade our skills, I guess. And we can also have relics. Card zone, the tree. Relic zone, elevator. Not sure what that is yet. I need him to turn around and walk in the other direction. There we go. Yeah, I see where we gotta go. Oops, kinda saw me. Nope. He's turning around. Post mortem, oh my god. I am not looking forward to that. Just put it on easy. It's still going to be a challenge. This game really does well with its light and dark. Let me tell you. I thought it was too dark when I first started playing, and I just upped it one brightness, and it was great. This game looks really good. Looks like there's something out, but there's something over there. Oh, he's coming over here. I guess I could try to kill him, maybe, but... Well, nothing suspicious. He's the one I'm worried about. He's gonna definitely see me. Love adjusting the brightness to a degree in these types of games, too. You have to. The default brightness is never great. Alright, we did it, I think. Could have easily killed that guy and then thrown him over the balcony, I guess. Shit, there's more guards. If I stay hidden behind this barrel, it should be fine. RT to take cover. Okay. Oh man, that's nasty. The one guy's like vomiting. Where they walk. He's gonna walk right past me, isn't he? Both of them are. Good enough for me. Go under the stable? Yes. Nice. Smooth. Very smooth. Gotta do this through the outside. Oh shit! This one's for me. Bring your pot. It's getting away. You 
be sorry if I find you, you little green skin. I think he needed to see us there. It's funny how he reacted, though. He's like, let me go get him, and they're not moving out of his way. That kind of sucks. He's going to give up on trying to catch us, I think. Stab him a couple of times, that's fine by me. Dead. Alright, we tried it. Banned for yelling. Happy Friday, next! Dr. Goa, how's it going? Happy Friday to you too. Starting a new game here, it's all stealth, but pretty nice so far. I could, I definitely need to get my timing down for parrying, that's for sure. All right, nice and slow here. Walk right by him. Yeah, it's, I'm glad the weekend's here. I finally get to get out this weekend. I feel like I've been trapped the entire month of February. All I've been doing is shoveling and, like, staying indoors because it's so freaking cold. Where does he go? He goes there. The other gentleman just stays put, and the other one's going into the hallway, but... Ugh. Time that parrying. Kill him. Kill, kill, kill. Shit, he's being killed. Yes, he is. I don't have enough health to kill you either. Oh, maybe I do. Something to this parry. I'm out to Cali, honey. Homie. <laughs> honey. Yes, you can get a shot in front of a taco truck. The weather is great. That's what matters. Um, just the nice weather. Uh, give me a second here. Yeah, I like Cali for that reason. Last time I was in LA, we visited Santa Monica and went down to Venice Beach. It was it was fun. I'd like to go back. I have a friend who lives uh, probably 20 minutes from Santa Monica. We went to visit him. Distinguish that? Sure, just for the heck of it. You never know what's on the other side of this door. Unlock skills. SP skill points allow you to learn new skills when you are in your hideout. You gain them by completing missions, but also by completing secondary objectives and by unlocking insignia. You can view the skills menu at any time. Let's do that. Owning, kill, predator. All right. I thought they were going to give me the ability to up my skill, but apparently not. You know what this game reminds me of? This game is really good. I finished this 100%. Hey, Jen. Jenny Mania. Jenny Mania. Welcome. Yeah, this is my first time playing it, so. It reminds you of the subway. It's dungy, like the subway tunnels. Yeah, this is a pretty cool game. I don't know if I'll under percent it, but. We can't look. It's got no keyhole. Okay. Alright, let's see what's on the other side. 
got no health. <laughs> Redeem? New York City subway tale? Oh man, I don't even have one ready. What can I say about the subway? Um... Did I tell you the tale of when we celebrated my friend's birthday on the subway? Probably not. That's the one I actually have in mind that I could tell you right now. So let me get past this part and then we'll we'll talk about it. Yeah, nope. Okay, that was a good one. A muffled kill means that when dying, your victim will make significantly less noise. Muffle them all. Oh my Let's watch the cutscene and then I'll tell you the story. Uncle Mixed. You gotta get me some ammo. Yeah. Uh, that, that would straighten me out. Down there, maybe? <laughs> Muffalo Bill. <laughs> we need to get some amber. Okay, so let's pause this for a second. So, here's the story. Um, And I don't have... Do I have the subway map? Can I minimize this without crashing? Yes. I do have a subway map on the desktop. Perfect. Okay, so it was my friend's birthday. Um... My friend, my other friend, Becky, had called me up. He was like, meet us at this particular station at this particular time. She told everybody to just meet her there, um, including my friend whose birthday it was. We were going to celebrate her birthday. We were going to go out for Thai food. So there's a subway map. Make it a little bigger for people who are watching on a mobile phone. Hopefully this helps. Okay, so she told us to meet her here at the 14th Street Station. We were gonna go, supposedly, to here. We were gonna get off here. This whole place right here is pretty much where all the hipsters are living. Uh, Greenpoint, Williamsburg, and there's tons of great restaurants there. Awesome places to eat. Thai food, sushi, you name it, it's all there. We always used to go there for dinner. And um, so we all met here, and we got there before our friend whose birthday it was. When I got there, um, my friend Becky was there. She was handing us balloons. She was, you know, somebody brought, like, um, cookies. We had, like, various cookies and stuff, uh, party favors, you know, those things that you blow into and make noise um streamers that we were going to throw around basically what she wanted to do was get everybody on the subway train to sail the well, the subway car that we were on to sing happy birthday to my friend so we timed it right the doors opened the train got there our friend just showed up right on time we all got into the train friend whose birthday it was she was there on, on point she didn't suspect a thing um, as a matter of fact, no, that I'm telling the story wrong. We got on here, right? Is that it? Yeah, no, I'm telling it right. So yeah, so we got on here. The idea was we had from here to here to convince everybody on the train to take a party favor. You know, we started decorating the train by throwing streamers around giving out cookies and stuff and whatnot to kind of celebrate. And, you know, my friend Becky was a little eccentric. She was an up-and-coming comedian at the time, and she was trying to break into the business. So she had the, yeah, she had the pizzazz and the, what, the charisma, I guess, to go out and, and try to convince everybody to do it. We told our friend, meet us here, meet us next to last car, or the last car, I think it was. It all worked out timing-wise. So as soon as we got here, my friend got on. And now, let me tell you, some people were kind of hesitant about doing this. They were like, well, you people are all nuts. And other people were like totally into it. So we probably had to get about three quarters of the car in on this with us. As soon as we got here, the doors open. My friend gets on the train. Everybody screams, happy birthday. Everybody in the car, practically. 
and we start in unison singing happy birthday to my friend. She's turning like bright pink. When you say here, I don't see your cursor, just me. Yeah, you're not going to see my cursor. I'm sorry. That's right. You don't see my cursor. So it was a 14th Street Union Square station on this gray L line right here. That's where we uh, we ambushed my friend. So, so if I can just highlight it. My cursor is there. You just can't see it. So I'm highlighting it. We met her right here. Right where this white, this white line is. Right here. You can see it now. Okay, cool. So that's where we ambushed her. And it was just cool. I mean, she got on. She didn't expect it. She was embarrassed as hell. Here we had, like, the six of us and a whole bunch of strangers just singing her a happy birthday. There were balloons all over the car, the train car. There were streamers. I'm glad that the cops weren't there at that time. But we just sang her a happy birthday. Um, we had a good time. We handed out cookies and stuff. There were kids on the train. They were totally into it. Um, we gave, you know, all the younger kids, yeah, transit cops. Um, we gave all the younger kids balloons. They they were, like, t totally happy about it, and and it was cool. And then eventually, hold on. Got to use the scroll bar here. Nope, too far. Eventually, we made it to the Bedford stop. That's where we got off. Majority of people in the last car usually get off there because that's where the exit is. Everybody goes into that car. So it was cool. I mean, they were still singing happy birthday when we were leaving the station. And, you know, somebody tried to get a How Old Are You Now uh, song going. And we weren't having it, obviously. <laughs> or at least my friend whose birthday was wasn't having it. We went out to dinner and we just kind of like embarrassed her and surprised her at the same time. But in the end, she was just happy that we did this crazy stunt of getting everybody to sing her happy birthday on the train. And... uh you know, usually you get a lot of things like showtime on a subway car where guys are just going to like, whether you like it or not, just start breakdancing in the middle of it. And sometimes they're good, sometimes they're lame. But, um, you know, they're doing that for money. But for us, it was just like, hey, let's just do something outrageous. Let's just sing her a happy birthday. That's some heartwarming stuff, man. Need more of those stories. Yeah, you don't hear too many of those stories nowadays on the New York City subway station. Uh our transit system um there's been practically like a stabbing every other day or somebody getting pushed onto the tracks up late and i think a lot of it has to do with um with covid and people are just like have anxiety and stuff like that i don't know what is going on out there a lot of racially motivated stuff i haven't taken the subway since last february and i'm a little scared to take it right now mainly because of all the violence that's going on in there Honestly, though, it was going to be a dark turn somewhere. Yeah, happy it wasn't. Yeah. Yeah, The this was back in 2006. So, um, you know, it was a different time then. There was barely any crime on the subways, but with the last year, it's just taken a whole new rise. All right, so there you have it. Thank you for redeeming that. Subway tale, Dr. Goa. There will be more in the future. I gotta come better prepared for them. Nobody's picked um, anything with channel points in a while, so... That's today's story. I think next story will probably be a little more of a historical take on the subway. That I can share my own, like, story behind it. Extra story that was pretty fun. I'm glad it was. I hope I just wasn't rambling on. You're welcome, Dr. Gowen. Th yeah, thank you again for selecting it. So, yeah, we that was pretty zany in itself, but um, it was a good time altogether. That's one of my favorite subway memories, I guess. Yeah, I've been saving for this game. I like the vacuum tube story, yeah. Vacuum tubes or pneumatic tubes. No, the pneumatic tubes one. That's the one. The vacuum tubes are vacuum tubes are something else. They go into the back of old CRT TVs. All right. Continue. So 
So we need to get to some amber, he said. I don't have any health because like a... Like a dope, I foolishly drank the last vial we had. So, my dear colleague, I'd be willing to give my complete edition of the Encyclopedia of Mycology for the right to dissect one. You're telling me? Hey, one doesn't dissect the embryos of one's political... Six is good. He's very good. Excellent, Six. Good job. This was Hitman. I would have had to have gotten into gunfight there. Through the keyhole just to make sure the way is clear. I bet you the way is not clearer. Yeah, I'm gonna mix it up between like um, stories about you know personal stories and then you know historical stories. I probably have more historical stories than personal stories at this point. A lot of crazy stuff happens in the subway. We could open the door here. Trying not to save scum, but it, it like saving every which way we go is it's hard not to do that in a uh, in a stealth game. Another look. All right, there's nobody there. Hopefully, hopefully I can get another vial of uh... amber. I gotta get some now. Amber? What is he addicted to amber? Explode. Is Amber like cocaine in this game or something? <laughs> Stealth games almost require safe scumming, yeah, especially in more difficult levels. Well, Metal Gear Solid turned me off to stealth games. Hitman, playing Hitman turned me back onto them. Republic was a great stealth game. Um, stealth was very easy there, but it was a lot of fun. And now we're playing this, so... Pick the wrong weak stuff <laughs> to stop sniffing glue, yeah. Um... I don't know what the Amber is, but thanks to Amber you can create and control a clone. Oh, you can use a clone to enter areas in, that are inaccessible. Or to distract your enemies. And once a clone has served its purpose, you can destroy it and recover Amber. The life of a clone is short. Once their limit is reached, they die by themselves. So LT and A to create the clone, LT and B to destroy it. I want to test it out, but I want to test it out on a real subject. Oh, something here. Is that a CD? What is that? One of ten. Okay, it's just an item. What does this do? Did this do anything? No. Republic was such a cool game to watch. Yeah, that was fantastic. If I ever replay a game on stream, it'll be that. Just just do it again, knowing what I know, and kind of take different routes as well. There's there's a couple of branching paths in that. Highly recommended. Genomania, uh, Amber for Sticks is the source of his abilities. Humans use it as a drug of some sort. Okay, got it. Thanks for that tip. I kind of figured it was a drug, but not, I guess not for him. So we're going to try to create a clone here and run it past him. The coin is used to help with skills. Got it. So if I go back into here... Can't really do anything, right? Well, maybe it was a skill point or something. Only your clone can cross. Let's try it. Well, I got no choice. I'll need some help. We're gonna need the clone to, uh... Wait, how do we interact with the clone? Clones you have create interact with most of the elements within their environment. In particular, you may pass under gates, blah, blah, blah. Okay, got it. Uh, control your clone. Hello, Rack. 
cash. I need your run carcass. Ugh. Damn it, I hate doing that. Quick. Back here. Through the gate. Pull the lever. We now pull the lever? Hold on. Oh, there it is. And then we dissolve them. Want something done right? Steal a body and do it yourself. <laughs> Very cool. The coin is used to help with skills. Gotta wait to upgrade. Okay, got it. It's a mixtape. <laughs> yeah. It looked like a CD when I picked it up. So wait, how do I destroy them? There. And we get the amber back. So if he gets destroyed away from us and we don't pick up the amber... Still need to play Republic. I've had it on my phone forever. The version I played was on the PC. The controls were really good. It was all the all the related um, content for it that came with. It was actually given away free on Twitch through Amazon Games. I need to get over there. So what am I doing here? The mechanism right there. Um, can we create the clone? Possible to use now. Okay, I get that. That's darkness. Okay. I was thinking maybe I could get the clone to, like, run past this guy. We're gonna have to fight him now. Kill this in its way. I have this on PC, but I believe on console you press D-pad, sticks will whistle. That's right. Then you can distract your NPCs. Thank you for that tip. Yeah, I'm playing it on PC, but I have the Xbox controller, so it's pretty much the same controls. Yeah, I'm using the controller. I could have gone keyboard, but... But I feel like stealth games like this, where stealth is main uh, aspect of the game, it's really better to play with a controller. Man, we're all the way back here still? Okay. We gotta get the amber still. Yeah, I have the option to play it either way here, but... Runs great. Amber, I gotta get some now. My head is gonna explode. Okay, we can pass this. Get the clone over there. Well, I got no choice. Yeah, the controls are the same as they would be on Xbox. Control your clone. Cash. Cross it. Run carcass. Damn it. Activate. Go back. Destroy clone. Take back the amber. Something done right. Steal a body and do it yourself. There we go. Okay, let's try whistling. Did you hear it? Guess I can't do it from down here. I'd be able to get across there and hide in there and then use the whistle? Probably not. I could have sworn. It's okay. It was nothing. 
Okay, cool. He's leaving. Amber vision? That's like night vision, right? I find the NPCs in this game hilarious. If you see them running past, they just go, huh? Maybe it was a big rat. If you knock over a broom or a chair and they hear it, they declare war. Yeah, I kind of saw that earlier in the game, too. It seemed to have been that that way. That's where we are. Um, yeah, let's wait a couple of more minutes and then we'll do shout out Friday. Amber Vision LTMY. LB to throw a ball of sand, but again, there's more amber over here, too. Wait, no, get the coin. Oh, well. There was a coin on the other side? I missed it. There's a coin over here, maybe? Tell me there was a coin over here. I'll try to get it. But our friend's, like, on the other side. The one I grabbed, but I died. We never got that again? That sucks. If I can go back and get it, I'll do that. I see it. I think. Perfect. Yeah, respawn, right? I forgot that dying means you have to go back and get it. In some games, like Fable, if you got something and then you died, or not Fable, um, what did I play? I played something recently where if you got the item but died, you kept the item but you still had to play through the playthrough again. Can't remember what. I think RGO was like that. We got it. We got this stealth stuff mastered. Throw a ball scene. There you go. What is that guy doing up there? Forging something. A hideout is downstairs, it says. Try this nice and easy. And then one could say I'm a master of shadows. A monster! That one's mine! I'm an idiot. I think I saved when I did. I want to do a muffled kill just for the hell of it. So, wait, I don't have to go back for the coin now, right? I saved it after that. Guards also get distracted if a torch goes out near them. Some of them just look at you, look at it for a while. Some of the light, light it up again. Nice way to distract the patrols, got it. Shadow Master, Boxer Round 3. The Torch, yeah. Not if you saved, so you're good. Thanks, creature. Let's try this again. We're not going to try to attempt to kill him this time. Shadow Boxer. 
Do this without him seeing me. Nope. Whoops. Missed time that. Your chat is delayed. That happens often on Twitch lately. I find myself having to re, um, refresh the uh, the room. The chat room and the stream. Okay, well, it's 5.04, so shout out Friday. Let's do it now. So we're waiting here. Does he die from one hit? My, um, my, I only have like slim, slim amount of health. So that's why I keep dying. I'm very low on health because as an idiot, I had health and I used it by accident. So, all right, well, shout out first to Creature92 for choosing this game. Definitely give him a follow. Plays a lot of retro games on original hardware, PS2, as well as Nintendo games, right? PSP. That's him playing Incredibles. Um, shout out to Camellio. Retro Gaming Junction. I think he's still in the room. Plays a lot of retro PC games as well. Also plays Nintendo. We'll see how much damage they do. He does. Yeah, she does. It does. I don't know. Not sure what game that is. He's playing Baldur's Gate now his days oh and God. some adventure games as well. Um, Senor Jefe 1. Shout out to him. That didn't work. Always put that J in there. Why did I put that J in there? Give him a follow. He's playing uh, the Siberia series, point and click adventure games. I want to get Is that Zach McCracken? Looks like it on the FM Towns. Really good game. Big Star Control fan. Don't want to miss anybody. Uh, Dr. Goa. You're going to get a shout out too. Give him a follow. Even if he doesn't stream, one day he might. There you go. And not sure if you stream, but shout out to Genie Mania. There we go. I think that's everybody so far. You're welcome. Shout out Friday. We'll do more at the end of the stream if I missed anyone. Curious as to what game that was that Cabilio was playing. Really need to go back and play Omicron. Yeah. Thank you for the follow, Genie Mania. Appreciate it. You haven't played Omicron? It was a bit janky, but a lot of fun. I streamed through that. It was exactly the way I remembered it. It was really good. Towards the end, it kind, of, it kind of trails off a little, but thank God David Bowie had a good influence on that game. Otherwise, that game wouldn't have been the game it was. That's the guy who went on to make um, Detroit Become Human. That guy should really be doing movies rather than video games, but hey, who am I to judge him? Yeah, I played the PC version, but it was also on Dreamcast. Yeah, the Dreamcast version was not that good, from what I know. So this guy walks there, right? Is he the same guy who pops up on the other side? I think he is. I wish I'd follow him. Oh, we got another guy right here. Ooh, health right there. Let's take it. Let's use it. 
I gotta use it when I'm out from cover. What? Wait, hold on. Use item is LB, so why am I not using it? No target. I'm the target. I love all the paths and nooks and crannies here to explore. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff you don't really need to go through to kind of get through the game. I have the sand. That's right. I gotta change the item in my hand. Thank you, creature, for pointing out the obvious like I usually miss. There we go. Life. Possible to use item now, yeah, because when you're hiding, you can't use it. There you go. Stick with the sand for now. There's so many options in this game. Oh, we got the guard that's sleeping and the other guy was walking around and then this guy was hammering. Let's wait a minute. Genie Mania, I think you're... You changed items using the D-pad. Yes, that is correct. I was able to figure that out. Left or right changes the item. Let's save here. Plenty of nooks like these where you could hide. That takes me back there. Oh, look at this spot. I need to go over there. Some guy walking around with a medieval uh, doctor's mask or renaissance doctor's mask. See if I could just get past here without being spotted. Someone there? Nope, nope. There's nobody here. No luck. No one here. We got two men talking down there. Looks like a secret passage on the other side. Let's do... let's save it here for a second. Downstairs... We got a hideout that we need to go to is 10 meters away. Shit on a pump handle. Unfortunately not. 
Anthony Amber down there. Can I hide in here? No, I can't. What if I hide underneath it? Can I? They got me from behind. Well, we had the right idea. I don't think there was a door or any way out of there. We just had to kind of... Might even have to go downstairs to get back upstairs again. I gotta look at the map. Okay, press A button. Where's the hideout? 10 meters away. Let's try it from this side. Oh, there's two of them, that's why. There's a the guy hammering, and then the guy walking around the uh, car. We gotta go upstairs, actually. Always look for those hook things on the wall, definitely. Probably miss them half the time. There you go. And look, there's Amber there too. Pick that up, pick it up, pick it up. Oh, we're full on Amber, okay. Okay, as soon as the conditions are right, we're going to get past this. The enemy goes red. Even if you hide, they will search on nearby places. If they are orange, they will check the area where you, they saw you. Okay. So red equals Mortal Kombat, yeah. Gotta remember that. It's about as much use as bird shit on a pump handle. Unfortunately not. Soigaru Is this guy walking towards me? He found me. With the elves. You be hanged for it. I might actually be good because he's gonna go search that spot and then we could just walk by. I think I awesome. saw something over there. Talking about it. Nobody. Nobody. There was a guy downstairs. We got a choice here. We might have to kill one of them. Who goes there? Oh, this one for me. Forward. It was over there. I'm trying out that forward. Yeah. What? No. I. Don't be always trying to kill the other guy. Come on. We could also take the stairs up. We don't have to exactly go that way, I would think. There's a man hammering up there, so let's try the stairs. Probably more practical. Yeah, there we go. Now we're like in a hiding place. A hideout is downstairs now, so I... I have to say this arrow key doesn't really help too much. This arrow that's on the screen. Wait till he moves again and then we'll go back downstairs. 
No, don't come near me. Not now. Go back the other way. Go back the other way. There we go. It's charging my phone. There he goes. Yeah, throwing sand is not going to help us here. We got this guy. If I was to kill him, there'd be no place to put his body. gonna find me aren't they nope go back well, must have been no. dreaming there's nobody who goes there understood I'm that one's mine oh shit this one's for me let's go <laughs> So much for that. Let's reload. The last thing we want to do is restart the entire level. Can we cut the roots? Seriously. Rather than reinforce all around. See, this tells me as bird shit on a that we need to go up there but when i go up there then it tells me i need to go downstairs so the root of the tree is a breach of the treaty with the elves you be hanged for it this guy is hammering i time this right and then maybe we could jump up there It's getting away. Wait and see, my friend. It can't go far. It's good. It's gone. There they go. There's no way past them. If we go upstairs, then we're practically back where we started. So hideout seven. He really wants me to go that way. He's going to look for me, so maybe he's distracted. Let's get out of here. If you don't want to be cut to pieces, too bad. Uh. Let's use our whistle command. Enough messing around. Show yourself. Show yourself. Please. Got him. Grab it. No. Should probably carry the bodies, right? That's why they gave us some hiding places here, I hope. Put him behind this box at least. That's why the other guard doesn't see him. Now we can climb up. Is someone there? Oh. I'm sure I heard something. Let's go. So close, so close to where we needed to go. If I was just really, really silent, I probably could have just done a muffle killed on that guy. Couldn't we cut the roots? Seriously, 
Preacher's laughing at me because he's played this before and he knows I fucked up. It's about as much use as bird shit on a pump handle. Unfortunately not. So we go. Someone's there. Noise. Right again. Things get hot. Invincibility usually saves your life. Invincibility. He's not asleep, that's the issue. That's a skill, if I recall, you have to unlock, though. Oh, okay. I thought it was like a cheat. It was going to distract them. It didn't distract them, though. Ah. See, unless you parry them three times, you can't fight them. I thought I was just going to be able to take out my knife and stab them with it, but you can't do that. Here he comes. Can we cut the roots? Seriously. Rather than reinforce all around. It's about You can use it as long as you have enough amber, even if the game doesn't info you about it. Sawing the root of the tree is a breach of the treaty with the elves. You be So it would be X, right? Gotcha. Going on well, that only alerted the people down. Nobody downstairs. I, I really need to get up there, don't I? It's hard to predict where the hideout is. It says go there, and then it's pointing upwards. So it's like, and if you do, damned if you don't. use the sand, it wouldn't let me. Let's try something here. Hmm? I think I saw something over there. What the fuck is this madness? Shit, where did it go? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Well, it's not. Ready to hit me on the head with that hammer. Perfect timing. Get up there. Get up there. That damn creature is really quick. Okay. There's more than one guardsman in there. He saw me last time and killed my clone, so I don't want to do the clone trick. There we go. There's also another one of those coins up there, too. Carry the body? No, let's leave the body there. Who's around here? It's just him. There's Amber. Nope. No! 
Ah, we remedied that. Let's put his body away. Put it in here. Put the other guy in here too. All right. So if they do alert, see you, like, and you take care of them right away, it's not like you're doomed. You can only hide one person in one area. Get to know. Put him back there. So I'm here. Where's the hideout? I still need to... I'm nowhere near the hideout, am I? Look on the opposite wall. Where the, uh... I could throw him in there. A closet. Stop making noise. No, not for me to hide. For to hide him. Hey, someone. What was that noise? Stop. You stop making noise. Wait until I get my hands on you. You'll see how I deal with monsters like you. Coming back? Really? You're that curious? You're gonna come back here a second time? Did you look at that? We could climb up on the other side. We need to go up there. That's where we need to be. Uh, hop on this chain. Let's try it. That ugly giant rat again? Nope. I didn't swing on the chain. Just wanted to show you the other path you could have chosen since you got up here. Now, there's those hooks on the other end. Yeah, I see it. Now, let me ask you something. That chain that was over there, would I have been able to capture it? Hold on to it? Yeah, that's right. Leave the zone. We got it. The blue mushrooms usually are a guide, point you towards the hideouts, got it. Yeah, I've seen plenty of them. I was like, do you pick these up? Do you eat them? Are they for fun? Not on the chains, but on the crane, yes. Ah, okay. I thought so. Some chains you can climb. I was just curious if I could just, like, swing like Tarzan. Grill. I'm stuck. Ah, this is impossible. There's got to be a way. There's got to be a way. Sliding grill? All I have is amber now. I don't have anything but amber. How do we get down? Hey, sticks! Over here! Somebody's calling me? Somebody there? Who are you? It's Ozcan. I'll open the passage for you. Hurry up inside. Who's Ozcan? Ozcan? Oh, my head. Yeah, I know that name. Ozcan. Yes, you can trust him. Anyway, you don't have a choice. I have to trust Ozcan. He opened the passage for us, at least. No items around here, right? About time, Sticks. I've been waiting for ages. I was beginning to wonder if Barryman and his gang hadn't done you in. There was a slight hitch. Well, I think so. 
Ah, my head feels water. like a wagon's gone through it. Well, we'll take care of that later. What are you doing here? Well, I'm here to tell you that I found a hideout, like you asked me to. I asked you? Uh, yeah, of course I asked you. Damn this headache. Uh, must be why I can't remember what I did even yesterday. Good. I'm off to the hideout then. You'll tell me the way? All you have to do is follow the marks I made here and there. You'll see. This is my personal system. As soon as you see the mark, then you know that one of my hiding places is near. You can go inside. There's one close by, with, as it happens, a list of other hiding places. You'll see. I often put some useful stuff inside. Thanks. I'm off. Whoa, 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 wait. You'll have to pick up the sewer pry bar in another hiding place. Oh, yeah. Uh, one thing I didn't tell you. The hideout is in the uh, sewers. But you know how it is. Sewer levels. The more it smells like shit, the quieter it is. <laughs> the more it smells like shit. I think I was beginning to like you. Sorry to disappoint you, but with your looks, it's best not to take risks. And anyway, the royal suite was already taken. In short, go on ahead, pick up the pry bar, and open the entrance to the sewers. I'll see you at the hideout. Okay, so we have a hideout nearby. It's in the sewers. Looks like Ozcan carries a flask in his belt. Let's hope I haven't lost my touch. <laughs> A, teach such as, a thief such as you can engage in the art of pickpocketing. Look carefully at the guards. Some may have items on them and belts that will allow you to be useful to you. Let's pickpocket him. He's got a health file right there, so... Of course. There we go. Worked out nicely. We gotta go into the sewers, and the sewers it's telling us are that way. I'm going to take a two minute break, go refill my water, I could easily find and this we're going to play at least an hour or more of this. This is pretty cool, I'm liking it. Anything else here? Book? Nope, we could climb upwards. Alright, give me a second, I'll be right back.
All right, we're back. Let's do this. To go find those sewers. What was that? Warned me that there's a man sitting there, I think. I didn't see what that message was. Could just fight him. I guess at certain times you just need to get into a fight here. Although, I stay in the shadows. There's a way up top, somehow. Beat it, old man. Ah, oh, watch out, Sticks. He knows me. What I did for you, you better keep your tongue behind your teeth. What? What did you do for me? I gave you the plans that will take you to the relics of the atrium. That cost me this fucking amber scar on my face. Besides, I shouldn't go too far. The relics of the atrium? You kidding me, Styx? Yes, the relics, the last objects of the great fallen lords. Yeah, of course it rings a bell. Yeah, well, good luck. I paid enough for this shit and all your schemes. I should keep my eyes peeled. These relics must be pretty valuable. Great collectors that you are, you can have fun by discovering hidden relics and by bringing them Back to the hideout. There is one permission. A dedicated tab in the menu allows you to find clues to their location. Once you have them, you can admire them in your hideout. Nice. Yes, I do have uh, Shards of Darkness as well. This is telling me where they are. Should steal the relic. That's the relic. And there, in the elevator. Current zone elevator. Relic zone is the elevator. Yeah, eventually I wouldn't mind playing that at some point because I'm enjoying this game. This map, though, I don't know about it. It doesn't really tell me where I am. Show my current location. I should steal the relic. I was going to kill this guy, too. Apparently he's a friend of mine. Where do I go from here? No exit here. I can't hook up on these chains, right? What about from here? Can I jump up? Nope. Okay, I guess we go downstairs. I think. Yeah, map is useless. I'm sure they upgraded it in the second game. I mean, it's nice to know where things are, but... How do we get out of here? Amber marks. Amber marks left by Ozcan. Ozcan. Allow you to locate smuggler hiding places and also to find precious items. These marks are only visible when you use your amber vision. Got it. So... There they are. All right, so we do have some help here. And that's how we climb up out of here. Got it. Pretty cool. Nope, don't fall. That's the message I missed the first time around. Like, it just appeared for like half a second and disappeared.
Versus the hideout. Okay. I don't have any more sand, but I could extinguish this with my hands. Let's do a muffled kill on this poor gentleman. Hopefully there's nobody to the left here watching. So basically the game tells you to go explore. Yeah, and now that I know that the amber would help, Map only has the floor plan of the current zone with some of the references like a statue, etc. Gotcha. Put him up here. I don't think anybody's gonna find him here. What's this? Pick up. Throwing knives. To slay an enemy at a distance, you can use your throwing knives. For this, pick up the knife and press the use item button to throw it at the targeted enemy. You can change target by moving them through the cursor. Knives also tell you... Allow you to sever chandeliers from a distance. Cool. Very cool. All kinds of different... Uh, ways of killing people in this game. I like it. I was going to mention that the Amber Vision earlier, but I for had forgotten when you get it. And so I wanted to wait until you noticed it. Yeah, the game told me. Although I almost missed that. I... See, this is this is an interesting thing. Because this light, if I extinguish it now, would probably help me later, I'm thinking. Let's extinguish every light that we need. Or think we need to extinguish. Let's take care of this one. Wow, this is the whole... Town. Pretty impressive. Pretty cool, thanks. A guardsman below, okay. One sleeping. Ah, here we are. The mark drawn with amber. Invisible to anyone who's never touched the amber. All I have to do is follow the trail. Mark of Amber. There it is. Whoops. Right. Great pad, Matt. How's it going? Thank you for the cheer, man. How have you been? Playing Sticks, Master of Shadows. I don't know if you've ever played it before. It's pretty cool. Stealth game. Can he get to jump up there? Yes, he can. Nope. Don't do that. I'm doing okay. Doing okay. I had a busy work week, but things are getting a little better, I guess. And weekend's here, so not too bad. As a matter of fact, let me give you a shout out now. Shout out Fridays here, that's how we do it. Don't do this to me. Don't fucking do this to me. <laughs> Definitely give Joypad Matt a follow. His um he has streamed some great games, horror games indeed. Um and otherwise, and his streams are very unique. I enjoy following him. Give him a look. You're welcome. And also, 
psychological analogy. Have to shout him out. I think that's spelled correctly. Yeah, right? It's a nice arcade. Shout out to Psychological. Psychological Analogy. AKA Michael. Good stuff. All right. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought it crashed. All right, so I know the way I gotta go. Stuff like. Need to figure out how to get there. There's something over there. Got Polybius in the back. Now it's reports. guy enjoys talking to himself too. Screw that up. All right, let's go in for the fight. Didn't work. I haven't even come close to to. Fighting him, his three buddies, like, I killed him, and then they killed me in the same process. I haven't even watched Olympus Emination Chamber. AEW Honesty was my new love. Hope you're enjoying it. Elimination Chamber was alright. It wasn't anything too special. Definitely watch the NXT stuff on the network. It's probably the best stuff you're going to see on the network. I'm signing up for something. It says my password needs to be between 8 and 64 characters. Who makes a password 64 characters long? Uh, someone who truly believes in security. AEW's alright. I, I think they're heading in the right direction now. I, I felt like before... They were just concentrating on the ex-WWE guys. So, but now they got Omega's champion, which is nice. And... Spoilers have been exposed to. I don't think I want to. I hate the new champ. The new champ? Oh, on the Elimination Chamber? Yeah, that, that was stupid. Yeah, you could skip Elimination Chamber. Watch the NXT stuff, definitely. There were some great matches in NXT UK. If I see anything good on the network, I'll I'll send it your way. I'll let you know. Okay. So there's the mark. We gotta go up that way. Can't be seen here. Yeah, that was big. That was big. They needed him too. He's gonna be there as a teacher. He's gonna, you know, be helping people out. You know, especially the younger guys. I, I think that was awesome that they got him. He was done with WWE. What was he gonna do there anymore? They didn't really need him, and the way they treated him wasn't right, so. Okay, let's save this. Need to run up when he's looking the other way, this gentleman. It's kind of like a 3D version of what the stealth was like in Repu Republic, almost. Who goes there? Like, how do you know I was here? Don't... I'm coming. Oh, you're not. Thank you. 
Carrying so hard to time sometimes. Carry the body. Hide the body. I'm gonna hide it in here. Alright. So I know where I need to go here. It's just a matter of how to get there. You ever forgot your password? Go to change the password. Type the new one and it says... Your new password can be the old password. He's going by his real name now. Again, isn't he? Uh, Big Show, I think he's going by Paul White. Yeah, I think he needs to, because... Unless he goes by the giant, I don't know. I, I didn't see it the other night. I think he was supposed to be on the show. But they're adding another show on Monday nights, which is interesting. Drawn with the amber, invisible to anyone who's never touched the amber. All I have to do is they are awesome. Yep. But I think it's more like a YouTube streaming show, so it's not like it's like After Dark Part Two, I think. So I don't really see it as being um, a threat to Monday Night Raw, but. The more shows they have, the better off they could show their talents, so... He saw me. Nope. They killed me. This game's got a lot of trial and error in it. Yeah, I think what they need to do is just stop worrying about WWE and do their own thing. Don't make that same mistake like all those other companies did. He saw us, didn't he? Getting through this is going to be difficult, but... We'll do it. Yeah, I like how the indie workers do dark. It's kind of like their NXT almost, where... You know, they have the... Ah! You know what? Let's try this again. I actually have... I forgot I have the throwing knives. I could just use the throwing knives on them. Just keep messing everything up, don't I? There we go. That's invincibility mode. Picked it by accident. Okay. The controls are very, very hard to get used to. You get your first COVID vaccine tomorrow? Good for you. I've been trying to schedule an appointment for a while now. They're still way behind here. You either have to be, like, have a comorbidity, morbidity like I do. Because I, I had a kidney transplant. Um, or you got to be over the age of 65, so it's like... All right, took them both out. Nice. Nicely done. That works. Got a place for hiding them. They call you in the UK to arrange one. That is awesome. I keep going on the site. They're like, oh, it's only for these area codes, even though I'm supposed to be able to go there. Um, you know, I'm trying to get it done at, the, at my hospital, but where my doctors are. However, it's getting diff more and more difficult. I don't mind doing it at the hospital, mainly because if anything goes wrong, I'm right across the street from it. Ah, here we are. The mark drawn with the amber. Invisible to anyone who's never touched the amber. All I have to do is follow the trail. Make sure this guy doesn't see us. 
The trail goes up, I think, and that's where we need to go past. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's going to be a matter of taking, of just being patient, I think. I'll get it. Goal is to get it by the middle of the month. Of March, so. At least the first shot. I'm glad you're getting it. Everything's half back, half ass backwards here, so. Be interesting if I could just walk on that chain like it's a tightrope. Everything wears out so fast here. It makes you wonder if there isn't some sort of crap in the air. Corrosive stuff, like. Hmm? Oh. I think he saw that. Or he heard it. You gonna light it back up? Do they light it back up? I don't think they do. Oh, now would have been the time to run past. They both walked over there to light it up again. But that's cool. That's how we get past them. And go light it up. We're gonna run across. That's what we're gonna do. Everything wears out so fast here. Oh, that didn't work out. There he goes. Years without seeing my family. They must have forgotten me. Alright, give me a second here. Yeah, that's all it is. They have said they are eliminating most of the restrictions in June in the UK and easing other restrictions until then. Yeah, we'll see. I think here they're starting to ease some restrictions, but it's not... It, it It's very, like, you know, oh, like, maybe a thousand people could go see a basketball game. Um, maybe, like, ten people go to a movie theater. 10% um, capacity in restaurants, which means, like, four tables will be filled. It's It's kind of whack. Because I don't think this country is ever going to get it. Like, there's just going to be times and places where... People are going to follow the rules, and then there's going to be other times and places where people don't, so... And there's a coin for us. Um, in the upper deck, maybe like two, three hundred people, I would say. Wow, we really need to kill this guy to get that coin, don't we? Years without seeing my family. They must have forgotten me. Yeah, it's nice to see. I mean, even NXT does, but I don't... Jeez, I just screwed this up, didn't I? Just kill everybody. Can dodge as well. Okay, I messed that up. It's gonna take them a while before they do that. I mean, they have the money to do it, but unless they're making the money back, it's just gonna be like it's gonna be like WCW all over again, where they just lose money all the time and they never make any money, and then they gotta close their doors and get end up getting sold out to another company. I think they just need to do their own thing and not be WCW. Huh? Even here, that's not white. Hey guys, go look at that torch. You all need to go and look at it. There you go. Hold on. How did he see me? This guy's gonna turn it back on, isn't he? It makes you wonder if there isn't some sort of crap. Master Shadows next. I'm getting there, I'm learning this game. Yeah, we'll see. They're putting a lot of the British independent stuff now on uh, huh? on the network too. There was um, Progress had a 
at an event recently on there. It was their first event in almost a year, I think, because of COVID. Screw this up. And there's health right there. He's going back there, and the other gentleman is coming down the staircase looking at for me, isn't he? Shit. Yeah, get some used to. Years without seeing my family. They must have forgotten me. Yeah, they have a lot of Scottish and Australian talents in um in NXT right now. They also have a big German contingent too. Like Wolf Walter and uh, a lot of those guys, so. He's gonna see me, isn't he? Who goes there? Just need to hide right now. Hiding place, 13 meters. Yeah, that was the, the closet. This game is good. Makes some getting used to. Thing is, how do I kill this gentleman? You know you gotta kill him because there's a hiding place to put his body right there. He's gonna turn the light back on. Let him do that. Let him walk away. Without seeing my family, they must have forgotten me. They're doing superstar spectacle for India, which is pretty neat. Yeah, they're gonna have like a an NXT kind of training ground in India as well. Right, carry the body. Put it in there. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to hide. I wanted to put the body in there. Hide elsewhere. Oh well, it's too late now. They caught him. He's been killed. See what happens. Find me, the son of a bitch who did this. Yeah, the clone might have been it. They don't suspect I'm in here, so let's see what they do. Oh god. Killed me. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see that too. I think he's gonna be like, you know, a trainer and you know, they'll probably have him as an announcer. He's more of a spectacle, so. Oh, uh Jinder Mahal, you mean. So you met the great Kali for some reason. I, I don't know why I was thinking that. All right, here's what we're going to do. Let's use the clone. Let's don't move. I'm coming. Let's see. <laughs> Got it. Jesus. Muffle killed is what we need here. We don't need the two guys to come up from downstairs. Great Kali has his own wrestling promotion now, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, he does. They signed a couple of his wrestlers, too. The promotion set. I don't know how they worked out. They had this female wrestler from India. I don't know if she's still there. She was pretty tall, too. She was, like, over six feet tall. All right, so we got the coin. Perfect. We finally got past this to concentrate better. Okay. Although this is telling me I am nowhere near where I need to be, so... 
that way is not good. Make sure he doesn't see us. I see a hiding place too up there, so... Don't come down the stairs. Let's go back to where you were standing. Boom! Be nice if we had some sand, but I'm not going back for the sand right now. Time for a change of guard. That's interesting. So, there was that mark on the wall. There it is. So we, we're going the right way. Oh wait, you were right above where you needed to be. Didn't you just need to go down those stairs? Um, see how this says to go that way? And then I could climb up this way. Unless, hold on. Did these open up somehow? Like, the pry bar is right below me here. Maybe we have to go down the stairs. This is gonna hurt, isn't it? I jump down from here. Hiding place. Zero meters. It was right here. It's pry bar. Six meters. I'm a little confused with the direction here. Sneaky, sneaky. Hey, DRS, how's it going? Everything wears out so fast here. It makes you wonder if there isn't some. Oh, secret hiding place. Bingo. There we go. Thanks for that tip, Reacher. Happy Friday, guys. Here's the pry bar. Ah, a bit big for a kilo sleeping chamber. At last. Ozcan spoke to me of this list of hiding places which must be here somewhere. I'll take it and get out of here. I got no desire to hang around. I'm gaming on the side, so it might be slow to respond. No problem. We're gonna go for another like 15 minutes and then call it. We've been streaming now for over two and a half hours, so. What? Ah. Seriously? It was a hiding place. They're not supposed to see me in here. This insignia is leading me back to Ozcan. Damn, that's a long while. Not too long. Yeah, I usually stream like two and a half hours, two hours, 45 minutes, three hours tops. Like, I try to keep it low now. What are all these pictures of Vigo from Ghostbusters 2 doing here? All these paintings. Let's hide behind here. Under here. If they actually come in here. There's no way to close that door. I thought it would have closed behind me. Who goes there? Understood. Son of a. Let's try it again. Yeah, eventually we gotta get to the sewers, I think. Sewer level, obviously. Why wouldn't there be? Let's wait till things settle down outside. Um, here's the map. Which doesn't really tell us much. Pick up the pry bar, reach your hideout. Find your way to the hideout. So the hideout's gotta be upstairs. I should steal the relic. The relic is in the elevator. It's part three of mission one only. I'll be playing this for a while. You see that tip about invisibility the game gave you? Yes. Kind 
could go invulnerable. Thanks to the Amber, you can make yourself invisible for a short time to pass under the nose of your enemy. Ah, uh, okay. Got it. Fast here. It makes you wonder if there isn't some sort of crap in the air. Corrosive stuff, mate. Like. I think I saw something over there. There we go. That worked. <laughs> to a certain degree. It wants us to go up this way, so... You the guy on the wall? He's a problem. More so than the gentleman walking around. Time for change of guard. Time for changing guard. Does that mean he's going to walk away? Can only help. I have no more sand. Otherwise, I would use it to take out that candle. Change your guard. You never know. There we go. Shit, what's he up to? All right. You clone, you can extinguish? Really? Did not know that. Would have gone after my clone anyway, so. Two of them right down there. All right. That's fine. A hideout's that way. Okay. He's taking his time. Plus, you want to save that amber, obviously. The Amber is very, very precious in this game. She was he up to. I can't go that far under the stairs. I need to go back that way. Hmm. Time for change of guard. Here there's a landing with two guards. Clearly, that's a death sentence if we go that way. Stick to the shadows. Let's see. You never know. Understood. Bring your pikes, lads. There's monsters to be stuffed. Oh, no! No Killed me. Killed me. Really? I don't have the daggers anymore because I used them. Time for change of guard. What happens if I go up the stairs now? Let's hide under here. Shit, what's he up to? It's above us. Something above us. Check this out. A scroll here too. Can I pick that up? Hmm. Time for 
find your guard. He's taking his time. Come on, jump up there. There you go. This is on the map, too, I think. Nice, very nice. Just stay up here. Hideout's 22 meters in that direction, but we need to be able to get over there, no problem. Just take a quick look. There we go. Guards everywhere at this point. If I jump down there, this man up here is going to definitely see me, who's standing alongside whatever that is. That's on the map. I see it. It's to the right. I got this. Thank you, Joypad Mad. See that well? I think the relic is down there. Maybe, maybe not. Does this say it's at the bottom? Yeah, I gotta get through that well to get the relic. How the heck are we supposed to do this? And the hideout's up that way. It would be cool if I could just jump down and assassinate him. Let's try something here. Maybe not. What about here? I don't think I ever got any relics. <laughs> they seem impossible. I'd have to kill everybody in the vicinity in order to get it. That's a tough fight. It's a very tough fight. We have any health? We have one vial of health. Okay, so let's try it. Time for change of guard. I kill these three. I don't think you do. Come on, I used the right one. I'm gonna try to get this relic. I'm gonna be really stupid here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hide in the shadows, he won't see you. something she will see up to we don't get to do this then Timing's gonna be down. I'm going to be real stupid right here. <laughs> Story of my life. Yes. Let's do something really stupid. Let's make this interesting. Get that relic. What we call this. Oh shit. This one's for me. Hey. No. Seriously? Yeah, I could use invisibility, but then I'm using up the amber, so... 
um, F9 it. Like, I don't even know if I could use the bucket that's in that well to get the relic anyway, so. Got him. Use that. Use it. There you go. Now we're going to take him out. Yeah, we could do this. I can buy more. There's vendors in this game that sell stuff? Interesting. Even with invisibility, I still got to kill all three of them. Let's take him away from here. Watch. Come on. Fall down. There you go. Beware! Danger! Let's have fun. It's getting away! Oh, let's go! Don't lose sight of it! It's getting away! Because I can't operate the bucket without killing them. That's what I think. There's, there's the relic. It's down there. But I need the bucket to go down there and pick it up. I don't know how to do that. If I kill them, they're out of my way. I don't have to worry about them again. Ah, what the heck. I screwed that up. Instead of letting my clone go down, I went down. No, I think you descend on some hooks. Okay, so then I gotta use the hook method. Alright. But then that's also a problem because I'll be back by then, so... Eh, let's try it. So many options in this game. Let's do this right. Come on, jump down. Let them follow you. Let them see you. Here, I'm here. I'm right here. Follow me. Really? Come back here. You can't have gone far. You can't have gone far. Oh, there are hooks. Okay. That's cool. Still hurt myself, though. Secondary objective succeeded. 25 XP. Okay, SP. Oof, got the relic. And upgrade, right? Six cents. Oh my god. Alright, we go out this way. Okay. I was like, how am I going to get back up? the chairs the upgrade buy stuff in the hideout okay so we gotta wait till we get back to the hideout at least we got another one of those coins or discs as we call them so if i were to stop the game here would i be able to continue it at the same point this hideout stupid chair shut up I guess I would start back here. Oh god. Two of them. Alright, now I know why that was an option to go that way.
And I have to go that way anyway. What do I got to lose? Maybe fight him, I guess. Sneak up this way. Cool. He's taking his time. Extinguish it. Is he coming over here? No, he's not. All right. Shit, what's he up to? He's not coming up here, right? Nope. just wait for him to go around and then I'm gonna try jumping up on top and we're gonna go around again the full way so we can get past them because now we know where we need to go we don't have to go back to the high note on me oh you don't Alright, that kind of sucked, but we ran away. Not anywhere near the hideout. through the door. Let's save the game. Let's do a proper save just in case. Three of three. Let's see if we get past Renaissance at least. Got a door right here. I don't see anybody in it, so let's open it. You can't close the doors once they're open, I'm guessing. There's another coin here. Gotta hide in there, need be. We can keep climbing higher. The problem is, I don't. I need to go all the way down there to get out of here. That's where the hideout is. There's a man on the balcony up there too, so I don't. Let's try this. Holy cow! He's right there. How am I doing this without him seeing it? That door right there. See, I was going to try to jump across. I can't do that. I think the best way to play this game is to keep taking chances, too. We need to go in that direction, so let's try this side. I haven't seen this guy's mark. Oh, there it is. Okay. Shoot. 
Just hide. An achievement, outstanding duelist. Whatever that means. Item. Now I got no health, so. And hey, we're gonna end this stream in about two minutes. I can't figure this out. I know I gotta go downstairs, but I'm moving along here, and this door does not help. Stay up above, right? It's getting a bit dry around here. Go nice and slow. Come down this way. Come down here. The hideout's only four meters away. We made it. Good job. I'm getting the hang of this. Just take all risks you can. If you die, you die. You just replay it. Took us an hour and 29 minutes to get through that. That's your be right. Five of 20 tokens collected. Dead bodies found one. Enemies left alive, 86. Enemies killed, 11. Orlos triggered, five. Thank you, creature. Mission completed. I should steal the relic. We got the relic. I don't know how, but we got it. Got an achievement for reminiscence. Okay. Reminiscences? All right. Well, there you go. That sticks... Master of Shadows. I'm going to continue to become the Master of Shadows here. We're going to keep playing this. How long have you been Just watch the cutscene. I stopped counting long ago. Long before coming here. It gives me a headache. So you weren't born near the World Tree with the elves? It's not there that they made you? No. I wasn't born in the Amber Lake. On the other hand... Could say that it was there. Thanks, Joy Pemad. Sort of. It goes back a long way. At the time. Don't waste our time, dog. Yeah, this guy's voice sounds very familiar. I imagine in the cesspit where you come from, this cell could pass for an elegant lounge. So let me dispel that misunderstanding. These are all flashbacks, right? The embassy of Akanash. And I didn't invite you here for tea and sympathy. You're in prison. And you're going to tell me without any nonsense how you counted on getting your hands on the heart of the tree. Then the executioner here will take you to the laboratory and store your body in separate jars. On that point, you were right. It is here that you will die. It Did is here that? that you will die. Well, it's very simple. The first part of my plan was to find my bearings in your tower. And the only one who knows every corner of your hovel is the one who built it. The architect, your old friend, Querberus. But what a great plan. What a pity Kerberus mysteriously disappeared once his work was finished, isn't it? Oh, really? He disappeared? Ah, oh, now that's unlucky, isn't it? But no matter. Because our dear Quirberus did not disappear without signing his work. Apparently, he left the complete plans of the tower somewhere inside the Akanash Library. And everything is there for the one who knows how to look. So I guess we're going to the so library next? Myself. Hey, Rakash. You're gonna move your butt. Find that library and dig us out the secret plans of the atrium. Sticks, welcome home. I'm upstairs if you need anything. That was our friend. Yeah, this is a pretty cool game. Creature, thank you for suggesting it. I've had the second game for a long time, and then this one was only $1.99 and a bundle nonetheless on um on Fanatical. It came with a really cool game called Overlord, which I want to check out. Replay mission? No, no thank you. Skill. Alright, so this is a pretty big place. I guess we could save it here and then go upgrade our skills. I want to do that. I'll do that on Sunday stream. Up there, 
is where you buy health from an amber from Ozakin. Okay. Cheap games. Yeah. This is a fantastic game for a cheap game. I mean, it's not... There's three games in the series. And this one is pretty cool. So far. I hear the second game pretty much updated what's going on here. Overlord is fun? Yeah, I might have to stream that. It came with every single Overlord game. And it came with the Ghost Recon 1 and 2. Uh, no, Ghost Sniper. Sniper Ghost Warrior 1 and 2 it came with too. It was like a crazy bundle. Some of the games I could care less about, but... For $1.99, that's, this was the main game to get. Hold on. So we go there or we go buy stuff? Let's go there. Sneak up behind him and assassinate him. I'm sure you'll appreciate that. We're gonna raid somebody now. Um, tomorrow night, there will be a stream at 8 p.m. But we're going to be playing with the Polygon Group Community um, Unreal Tournament. 2004. Should be fun. Just enough moisture to save me from getting parched lips. If you want to play it or just want to hang out and watch, come to my channel. This might sound strange. If it's open to anybody, so. Remind me how we met. You're right. It does sound strange. You must have taken a nasty blow to the noggin. It's lucky we met. Especially for you. You wanted to know some stuff, and I wanted to recover some stuff. You're good at stealing, I'm good at dealing. It didn't take long to come to an understanding. That's how it works in the bowels. Yeah, uh, it's coming back to me. I think. Alright, let's just take what he's got. I gotta get to the Akanash archives. Any idea of the best way to get there? The library, eh? I can show you the way through the sewers, yeah. No, it'll be on Sunday. Tomorrow I'm gonna stream, um, we're playing Unreal Tournament 2004, so I'll stream that. I'm looking for a map of the atrium. Polygon, it's a polygon stream. The guidance of a blind old man. Sunday we'll be playing Sticks at 1.30. In that case, one of my men, Hector, a copyist, could be your guide in this labyrinth. And how do I find, uh, what's his name? The Marks. Hector? Ecto? Ectoplasm? You just have to follow them. Understood. And while we're on the subject, you know, a safe lot of talking here. When I'm done here, I don't plan on hanging around longer than I have to. You want to leave the atrium? You could hop on an airship, but you'd still have to know when one is leaving. It can be months before the order is given to send one. So, who gives the orders? I don't know. It's paperwork. It's irritating. You understand? I don't like to strain my eyes. But I happen to know that all the signed orders are stored in the transport office. You could uh, forge one to suit your plans. Hmm, I'll try it. Thanks for the info. It's well, got an interesting uh, plot. And there's well, plenty of if you replayability. To, you could maybe bring me back something from the library? Go on. I've heard that a renowned treatise on alchemy is hidden there. The kind of book is so radical that it was placed under a glass cover. Good. Character models look odd. Find it, I'll bring it back for you. See you later. But one last Looks second. like he's wearing a rubber mask. You're a rough and ready type, aren't you? If I were to ask you to... Eve, tomorrow? Cool. Me, would you do it? Quietly, without making waves? You're starting to ask a lot. Alright, let's do. go. It better be one this. For me. Don't worry, I fully understand that my eternal gratitude will not suffice. Anyway, in the docks, should you cross the path of a laborer called Godbert, make sure he has a little accident. I didn't appreciate it. When Enough with the life story. We do yes. business, that's fine by me. As long as you pay. See you later. Well, all right. Go to the embassy for this airship business, and then I'll go to the archives to look for the maps. I don't know how much, many missions there are in this game. I'll have to look it up, but we're doing pretty good so far. I'll just tell you that. Skills. Let's do the skills. It'll be nice here. Stealth skills, agility, cloning, amber vision, equipment, skill. You can kill your enemy while under protection of cover if the enemy is within striking range. I kind of like that. And you want to leave cutscenes take forever, right? They do. I like the covered kills. 
And what would that be the other option? I think... Thanks to your sixth sense, a sound will alert if any enemy outside of your field of vision is about to detect you or if a crossbow man targets you. I think that's helpful. Let's do that. We got 90 points. Okay. Um, let's do the kill one for 40. Because I, I could have killed somebody undercover before. Agility cloning. You're as nimble as any goblin. You make less noise when you hit the ground. But there's still fall damage, so... 10 points. Anything for 10 points? Anything? Nope. Predator. Well, I don't have that yet. And we got the relic, too. So, let's take a look at the relic real quick. Menu only available during missions. Okay, so we can't see it. Let's do a save. We are in the hideout. Preacher, thank you for suggesting this game. DRS, I am going to give you a shout-out now because it's shout-out Friday. Definitely catch DRS 43 if you haven't. Um, let's raid someone. So please hang out for a second. Mario Golf. Like, there's no real lightsabers. So how... Let me raid here. Pretty cool. Um, Maybe I was actually on, and he's playing Arcana, a really cool dungeon crawler on the uh, SNES. So let's raid him. All right, see everybody tomorrow night for some uh, Unreal Tournament. Take care, Joypad. Good to see you. Thank you for the bits as well, the cheer. Um, We're playing... We'll be playing tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Community Unreal Tournament 2004. If you have the game or you want to play along, you know, just stop by the channel. I'll hook you up.